top right of Larry Lack Crest. Jesus. We have the <laughs> red third player, Miso. And the bottom right is opponent from Brazil, the blue Terran, Kelleser. Actually, like, I haven't played this map at all because you see, like, the third or the natural, how it has two entrances. Yeah, mm, as yeah. a Protoss player, fuck that shit. So, <laughs> yeah. But then again, I guess it's good for Protoss all ends. Okay, I'll, I've changed my mind. But, uh, yeah. Uh, talk to us a little bit uh, about the early game. I'll be back. Oh, did you put the camera on me? What? Yeah, I'm pulling your camera. I'll be back real quick. Okay. Uh, but yeah, well, like what I've been do what I've been doing in Legacy of the Void is pretty much um, fast expanding and like with a bunker, submarines, and then getting uh, a cyclone, and from that just putting down a third CC. Uh, that might sound uh, really greedy, but uh, like nobody is going Reaper right now, so stuff like One Rex Expand is actually surprisingly good in TVT. And then the Cyclone kind of, it kind of shuts down any type of harass. So yeah, I think Cyclones are very good in early game in every single matchup. You kind of need them against Ravager Rushes, I feel, and against Protoss, they're, they're forcing out Phoenixes. So. Yes, Cyclones <laughs> in every matchup in early game, and then they get worse, especially in TVT in uh, in the later game. So you just build a few Cyclones and don't fall into the trap of just massing Cyclones because they will trade very inefficiently did against you, uh, Bio player. Did you see uh, what's his name? Uh, Fire King's game today. Oh no, I didn't oh. get to see that. I wonder if he won actually. If, uh, I didn't see the results, but he afk during game three versus Happy. Like he literally. Oh, I, I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's like going too far. Like I love Fire Cake for the asshole he is. I think we need people like him. But uh, you know when when there's like people paid to, to just like watch your game and like make it entertaining and you just like straight up go AFK. I think that's going a little too far. <laughs> Yeah, we see Kelaser with like the the manor bunker, pretending that he's safe. Well, it's actually not safe. What do you mean? <laughs> well, it's like I put the hundred minerals into this bunker, so I'm playing like a legit macro game, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like a manor bunker. Oh, but he's he's just being. Uh... Yeah, but it actually doesn't protect anything. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that bunker is a little bit out of position. Oh, you you never heard that expression? No. No, I thought a manor bunker was like, you're about to win and you just make a bunker. Not like if you're playing, uh, let's say you're playing custom games with your friend and you know that he always goes pool first, right? Like 14 pool. Mm -hmm. But your probe scout anyway used to be a nice guy. So it's like a manor probe scout, even though you don't need to probe scout. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, 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 that makes total so sense. So it's like a gent gentleman's game, so you don't get an economical lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this bunker kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry, dude. I'm not being too greedy. Yeah, and, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and uh, Miso's got the third command center quickly, and he sniped the mule with the cyclone. That was kind of nice. I wonder who wins a battle, a cyclone or a tank? In a one-on-one -on -one fight, uh, yes. the cyclone uh, destroys the siege tank. Really? I think even if the tank is sieged and they go up one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with a cyclone without micring, I think the cyclone is going to win. It takes four shots for the tank to kill the Cyclone. Jesus Christ. Cyclone has like six DPS, so... But then again, it's more expensive than a tank. Costs 25 more gas than a tank. Mm -hmm. Not saying it deserves to win, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not free. Yeah. Have you uh, have you played a little bit of TVZ in uh, Heart of the Swarm? Now that the Swarmos has been uh, patched? Mm, no, I, I haven't got to. Currently, but. people are just abusing mech and Swarmos players are crying. Or Zerg players, sorry. Mm -hmm. I guess every Zerg player is a Swarmos player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fucking balance. Why is it never fair? Um, yeah, just a very slow game. Every Everyone's getting their production up. Uh, Killister is not aware of the third. Uh, like, uh, Mesa is playing extremely greedy. 
Yeah, but then again, uh, he's scouting everywhere with Marines, and he's got the second one in the middle of the map, like... Yeah, but, like, imagine if Kelleser just walked across the map, and he has one tank. That's it. Yeah, but he is, of course, you know, maybe expecting Kelleser to play, play defensive in the early game, like he has done the other games, with the exception of some Hellion drops, but we see him putting tanks and marines in the main base, maybe preparing for those you know, Hellion drops. Like, o overall, his, his early game was greedy here for sure, especially put putting down the third base on location. Not saying I don't like it, like, I, I do like it, but he, he gets an advantage here. Yeah. Kelloser is gonna push out now, but the question is if it's too late or not. That's not, I mean, uh, Killister's ahead in army supply, so, like, as long as he keeps his tank count up, he'll be okay, right? Does he, th th is there a minivac coming? Yeah, there's a minivac there's coming soon. One medivac coming, but, yeah. You really think Killister is, like, gonna struggle to win this game? Why is, why is he floating 1k minerals? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is like Kalaser can play better than this guys. Maybe he's just not that great in Legacy of the Void. He's uh, banking up for the Nigerian prince. He's trying to save him. Send him all his money. Wait, he spent oh he did spend that thousand minerals. Oh he might snipe that uh, orbital. W what can uh, Miso do? Oh yeah, I can't actually do anything about this because the siege tanks have uh, grabbed this position, so this uh, CC is free for the picking. Yeah, that's great, actually. But yeah, we see it's like it's just very risky what Misa was doing. He was spreading himself out way too thin. Oh, this is nice by Kalater siege up here, grabbing uh, high ground vision with the uh, with the Viking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took a little while before his Viking got in position. One of the tank uh, maybe die unnecessarily. Uh, two Minivac being loaded up in the middle of the map. Miso's gonna unload before he gets to the natural of Killister. Killister is a tank or two in position, but... That's ah, there's a spider! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Oh. Okay, well, he's gonna, he's gonna be greeted with the two siege tanks and the bunker, but he's actually not sieged up with everything. But I mean, it's it's gonna be enough anyway. He uh, cleans that up and he takes a nice uh, 30 supply lead here. Kalaser's drop was uh, deflected as well, but uh, you see, Kalaser now has uh, 3 CC and Misu is stuck on uh, two bases. Uh, if uh, Kalaser recognizes uh, the position he is in, like imagine if he had map hack right now, he would probably wanna walk home with his units here. Because uh, Misu is definitely the one who's going to be aggressive at this point. And it's very important for Kelleser to try to put all units into defense. Mm -hmm. What he's maybe using these units for is to counter a uh, threat and a base trade in case uh, Misu moves out. But uh, Misu can probably leave like two siege tanks at home to try to defend this. I'm just afraid that Kelleser is going to like die in this timing window because he has too many units out on the map. Uh, Misu is uh, approaching that third base, and Kelleser is not in position here. He, he, uh, like, all of these SVs might actually go down base here. Let's attack. see how quick... Okay, Qu Kelleser uh, reacts quickly. The command center is being targeted right now, but yeah, it's, it's getting returned by those SVs. Yeah, it's getting actually, nice, nice defense by, by Kelleser. Mm -hmm. um, Misu didn't really commit to the SVs or the command center, so that's why that base was able to survive. Kelser is gonna try to chase down those medvex, he's actually unloading right here. Oh! He gets caught with his pants down, he doesn't have combat shield and he's losing everything over here. That's actually... I don't I don't know what Miso can hope to do in this game. Uh, I mean, he has to break that front and then maybe if he does it without losing too much, uh, he would have a chance. Maybe unloading tanks with the medvex, like uh, un unloading like sieged uh, tanks, but... It's gonna be tough. Oh, and they're gonna meet in the middle of the map without uh, knowing. Oh, the load up, but nothing that's full and uh, dies. There's only one minivac that dies, actually. It's gonna unload right away, but uh, Miso's on the chase. And will he pull the oh boys? Oh my god, Kalaser is actually losing everything here. He didn't have time to unload. He got caught in the middle of the map with his pants down, and now finally with a counter attack into. Yeah, this is gonna become a base trade. Uh, right now, uh, 
He probably has less army army supply at this point. Yeah, 47 yeah, he got, he got 46. into the production right now. We see Miso here with a tank by his production and a couple of Marines. Uh, I actually like the position Miso is gotten himself into right here. I think the bright side is that uh, Kelleser is a fourth, uh, his third command center is a planetary. So that's kind of nice. There might be hope, but it's just that there's no minivacs left for Kelleser. And so we cannot break the main of Miso. And that's just... Yeah, like, this is what happens in the TBT bio. You're going for expansion. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you have expansions when your barracks are just... Your Marines getting out there just getting spawn killed. And we see Miso here, even though he's on one base, he can still produce units. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. He's, he has an army lead, and that planetary is not a threat to him. He can just siege up the mineral line from the high ground, or just kill the planetary straight up. Wow. And I realizes it types out that's that's crazy dude that's like you had the game one into like a very